Oh, hi. Nearing on 4.30, Sunday evening. Um, yeah, just back from swimming. I think, uh, yeah, I think when I swim. That's what it is. I think a lot when I swim, so I have a lot of ideas, and afterwards I feel like telling about them, so I typically am inspired to do videos after swimming. Um, this week was interesting. Uh, after the company went bankrupt, and I met with a couple co-workers, um, and I've been invited to the uh, the goodbye party, which originally seemed like just for me, but it's actually for the whole company, and everyone's saying goodbye. Um, yeah, really, I am I am sad about a couple coworkers, but I wow, I I think it's pretty funny. Gotta admit, um, I would have thought it was just as funny if I were still employed and they hadn't uh, laid me off beforehand. But well, anyways, um, I went to go visit some of my distributors this week. Uh, uh, th uh, four of them actually. One wasn't there. The, the guy who I usually met with was off on a business trip, but uh, apparently he and one other, the president of another company, both wanted to take me out to dinner. Um, at some point, they were just, you know, one of them was actually trying to get in touch with me and didn't have any contact information. Um, so his secretary was really glad I came by because since the company you know, went bankrupt and people stopped visiting, he didn't have anyone to ask for my contact information. So he's going to probably give me a call tomorrow. Um, uh, see about the other guys. They'll probably contact me this week too. Um, and then one other company uh, that, I, that I really like, it's a fairly small one, um, I had a favor to ask them. I said, uh, do you have any of the uh, two liter JP bottles, the clear polypropylene ones, these ones? Um, these are great bottles for storing things in your kitchen. And I <laughs> said, do you have any of those in stock? I'd like to buy a couple. And uh, they said, yeah, yeah. And they actually, um, I said, just four or five. And they said, four or five? I said, yeah, five if you have them. And he said, oh, okay. And comes downstairs with five. And as good as my Japanese is, I could not win the argument and make him take money for these. It just didn't work. I, I lost the argument, and he gave these to me for free. I, I tried really hard, though. <laughs> my Japanese is just not that good yet. I can't insist that much. Um, anyways... Uh, it was still a really great experience reconnecting with all of them. And they had all just been told that I no longer worked at the company, so their thought was that I had quit. Um, and I kind of wanted to clarify that and let them know that I'm still in Japan for a little while. All of them were really happy to see me. Um, it was interesting talking to them. Uh, quite a few, uh, not them necessarily, but a few people are pretty mad at the uh, well, company president because the way he closed the company down and just said, it's closed, today we're done, um, he didn't give anyone any time to buy up the reserve inventory that he had. So they didn't get to take extra inventory. They didn't have any time to prepare, and they have to find replacement items immediately. No one else in the world makes this bottle. Just Nico. So anyone who used a bottle that's exactly like this, or the black high-density polyethylene bottles, these are usually made in white, they're also made in brown, but almost no one makes them in black. Yeah, and then these ones, actually, the reason they were so popular is it doesn't have, a lot of times there'll be an inner plug that goes inside the bottle, and these have a, what's it called, a thermoplastic elastomer. It's just a gummy section that's molded inside of here, and that prevents it from leaking. It makes it a pretty good bottle. And they did make some pretty good bottles. These are things that, um, you know, as we had talked about in the company, if we just had a you know, a place to store them in the U.S. and distribute them even in large quantities to other distributors. We could just do a little viral marketing, get online, start selling these in large amounts. But we never got that together. Yeah, there were, there's a little bit of bent up frustration on that. So, um, yeah. So it was still, it was good to talk to the distributors. Um, it'll be interesting to go to the uh, goodbye party this week. Um, Another thing, I found something else recently. I uh, went and grabbed a snack bar, a protein bar at one of the places, uh, or one of the convenience stores. And I was in a hurry and I grabbed one of these and was surprised when I bit into it because I didn't, you know, it's like, oh, it's the protein bar section. Just grabbed one, grabbed some juice, and went out the door. Um, this says desk breakfast, and that says cheese flavor. Oh, it's kind of hard to read there. It's cheese flavored, um, contains and vitamins and minerals, including iron and caffeine. Um, so it's a cheese-flavored protein bar with caffeine. 
If I had read that beforehand, there's no way I would have tried it. I would have said that just seems a little bit too odd. Well, I might have tried it just on that concept, but I tried it anyways and hadn't realized what it was I was biting into. Um, I would just glanced at it and I figured they're all pretty much the same. Most of them taste vanilla-ish. It's actually pretty good. Um, so that's why I bought another one and it's, not, it's on camera. I rather enjoy the cheese-flavored breakfast bar with caffeine. <laughs> Um, and I'm trying their other flavor of the same stuff, which is, uh, honey toast flavor. Caffeinated breakfast bars. I don't know. At some point I'm going to try that. It's not that my life is that busy and I need to hurry through anything else. Um, and, uh, also I put in my portfolio with a independent modeling company. They don't charge any fees to get started with them or anything. You just give them your pictures, and if they have casting calls, they, uh, you know, someplace someone needs a foreigner for a commercial or an advertisement or something, um, if they do, they'll let you know. Um, so, my first casting call on Monday, tomorrow. Um, we'll see if I get into an advertisement. That's one that I don't think I'm not, I think, judging by the things, because they don't want people talking about what the advertisements are or TV shows are beforehand. I have a friend who's been on a couple TV shows. He's just had bit parts where he speaks things phonetically in Japanese. He doesn't actually speak Japanese. Um, they just told him the, the line over and over again until he memorized the sounds. And so he says it as unnatively as possible. Um, so, uh, I've got an audition on Monday. If it goes through and the commercial gets made and I'm in it, then I think I get to tell you about it afterwards. But I'm technically not supposed to talk about it beforehand or something like that. Anyways, if I don't talk about it again, it means I didn't get in and it's not that important. I don't. I hardly know any details myself. I just know I'm supposed to show up in kind of business casual type clothes, and uh, there may be something involving a car. I don't know. But I'll tell you about that as it happens. All right. Um, now I gotta change quickly, blow dry, and I uh, head downtown for some Persian food. And, uh, not something you think of when you're in Japan, but there's a great Persian restaurant called Hafez downtown here. All right.